EU CELAC Summit, which featured leaders from the European Union and Latin America, ended in Brussels today with government heads deepening relations in a number of areas, among them illegal migration. Our Opal Road spoke with the Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs about their discussions with the international community. She tells us tonight that the Bahamas is not alone in its fight. As the Bahamas tightens its belt on illegal migration, the European Union is doing the same. Thousands cross the Mediterranean in flimsy boats in a bid to get to European countries, putting a strain on the public purse. And with a number of boating accidents involving migrants taking place in Europe, many have been taken before the courts. Noting the same in the Bahamas, Immigration Minister the Honorable Fred Mitchell says the law must now take its course. But right now, the Bahamas sits around the table with the European Union at the summit in Brussels, and they are discussing ways to crack down on illegal migration. People are going to be charged, and there are new penalties. It's now five years or $10,000 fine. So, you know, the, the country really means business on this. Uh, you're going to see more aggressive uh, actions being taken. Some have painted a negative picture about the Bahamas' new immigration policy, but Mitchell explained that those who want to come to the islands must simply follow the proper procedures. Migration to the Bahamas is not a difficult thing to do lawfully. So there's no reason to migrate to the Bahamas unlawfully. And what we mean to stop is unlawful migration. Uh, where there is a legitimate need for labor skills, uh, fine, there's a process to go through to do that. But you see that this is becoming ever more dangerous and fractious. And despite some negative press, Mitchell says many in the international community understand and support the government's position. What we say is that it is unsustainable for, this, uh, for our country to be awash with people who have no documentation being in our country. It is a threat to our national security. It's a threat to our cultural identity. And Bahamians have had enough of it, and they want a, a line drawn in the sand on it. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie also weighed in on the matter. When um, the minister speaks of Bahamians, he's even including those who have acquired citizenship and who understand what we're doing, because by and large they have said to us on a number of occasions, they understand and they feel that we just simply must continue to explain what we're doing so people can understand it. Now already for the year, thousands of illegal immigrants have made their way to Europe and in the Bahamas, hundreds have flocked to our shores. Covering the EU CELAC Summit in Brussels, I'm Opal Roach, ZNS Network News. All right, Opal, thanks a lot. Now tomorrow, the Prime Minister and his delegation will head to Switzerland to attend the opening of the Bahamas' permanent mission to the United Nations and other organizations in Geneva.